The water we use today is the same water that's been on our planet for billions of years. It's recycled naturally over and over through the water cycle. But rain doesn't always fall when and where we need it to. Changing global weather patterns and a huge growth in population in southeast Queensland have put increasing pressure on our water supplies. The millennium drought has prompted us to reduce our water usage and create new climate resilient water supplies to protect our water for the future. We all need to make every drop count. Many homes and businesses have installed water efficient appliances and all new homes must now have a rainwater tank. To increase supplies, a new water grid is being constructed. New dams are being built and 400 kilometres of pipes now link major water sources so water can be moved to where it's needed most. To reduce our total reliance on rainwater, two new water supplies will be used. One is desalinated water. Seawater is converted to drinking water through a filtration process that removes salt and minerals. The other is purified recycled water. This has been used to replenish drinking water supplies for more than 30 years in the USA and in other countries such as the UK, Belgium and Singapore. Purified recycled water is wastewater that is passed through multiple barriers to ensure it is safe to drink. This technique uses the world's best practices. Barrier 1 restricts the release of harmful chemicals into the wastewater. Stringent regulatory controls prohibit industry and hospitals from discharging specific wastes into the system. Barrier 2 is our existing world-class wastewater treatment plant. Here a screening process removes large particles and natural processes break down organic matter and remove many chemicals and harmful microbes, including hormones. The next three barriers occur at an advanced water treatment plant. Here, filters called membranes effectively remove anything larger than a water molecule. A water molecule is made up of just three atoms. Potentially harmful compounds contain far greater numbers of atoms and as such are too large to pass through. These include chemical contaminants and microorganisms such as viruses and bacteria. At barrier 3, water undergoes microfiltration by passing through bundles of tiny plastic straws. This process is commonly used in the production of bottled water, beer and soft drink and to sterilise medicines. Water is forced through microscopic holes thinner than 1 300th of a human hair. This step removes microorganisms including most bacteria and some viruses. The water must then pass through barrier 4, where reverse osmosis takes place. Here, water is filtered through dozens of membranes, similar to sheets of plastic. Water is squeezed under very high pressure through holes 100 times smaller than a virus. Reverse osmosis is also used in desalination and in many home water filtration units. At barrier 5, advanced oxidation provides an additional layer of protection. Water passes through a chamber where UV light, hundreds of times stronger than the sun's rays, reacts with an additive, hydrogen peroxide. By the end of this barrier, any remaining chemicals or impurities are reduced to harmless levels, well below safe drinking water standards. Doctors and dentists also use UV light to sterilise surgical instruments. This is now 100% purified recycled water. It's required to meet the Australian drinking water guidelines and is also strictly regulated by the Office of the Water Supply Regulator. Constant testing ensures water quality is maintained. By now, purified recycled water is required to be safe to drink. It is supplied direct to industry and power stations. When we need it, purified recycled water will be added to our drinking water supplies after passing through two more barriers. At barrier six, the purified recycled water would be diluted in Wyvernhoe Dam, where it would improve the quality of the dam water. And that brings us to barrier seven. Water would leave the dam and pass through the existing water treatment plant at Mount Crosby, which has been producing safe, reliable drinking water for generations. Here, filtration, chlorination and other treatments would occur before distribution to households. Purified recycled water is vital to secure water for our future. 
Because we can't rely on nature with any certainty, we must create fresh water just as the water cycle does. Purified recycled water is a crucial component of our new water grid and will help keep water flowing for southeast Queensland.